I'm a consulting engineer with Accident Research Specialists. Uh, we're a forensic engineering company in R Raleigh, North Carolina. So the black box we're talking about, that's what it looks like, correct? Right. This is a Chrysler airbag control module. Uh, kind of across the manufacturers, they all really look like this. You can see they're not black. Uh, they're all silver, uh, you know, size of two deck of cards, basically. The event data recorder in cars is uh, a computer that will record certain performance aspects of the vehicle uh, during and sometimes before a crash. The, the range for the most part is two to five seconds of data before the crash occurs. So we're talking pre-crash and then impact. Correct. So what's it likely to tell me about what happened to a car? in the moments before it crashed, for example. We will see things like vehicle speed, uh, whether the driver was applying the brakes or not. Uh, if the driver was on the throttle, uh, on the gas pedal, it'll tell us how much. Uh, it will tell us the engine speed, the RPMs uh, of the car. How does a car's black box differ from an airplane's black box? The biggest difference here with the car black box is it records uh, just a fraction of the data that an airplane event data recorder records and in that fraction of the data it is not recording uh, anything any voice records in you know in the cockpit no video anything like that is it a chip that records the data or what it, it does get stored uh, into memory um, on a chip um, it's kind of constantly monitoring what's going on and then when something happens it says okay give me that data that I want and I'm going to store it. This is uh, the Bosch Vitronics uh, CDR box. Okay. Uh, this is the box that allows us to hook our laptop up to the airbag control module. So right now all you do is you click a button, click a button. and you can get all the information about what happened the moment the airbags deployed. Correct. Okay, this, this is the pre-crash data graph. Um, so we see we've got five kinds of data uh, displayed on here. So black is engine, green is speed, yellow is engine throttle, blue is accelerator, and then the red is the brake. Correct. So what does this information basically tell you? Looking at these lines, what sure. are you learning? So what I see here, we have a, a fairly constant uh, engine speed line with a little reduction at the end, uh, a fairly constant vehicle speed line with a little reduction at the end. Minimal reduction. At Minimal the end. reduction, right. Uh, we see that the brakes are not on for the first uh, you know, half of this recording, slightly over half of this recording. So two and a half seconds, they were off. Correct, they were off. And then they come on. Um, that basically just means you know the driver's foot gets on the pedal. It doesn't tell us how much they're braking. It just shows us that the brakes are applied. But still, it wasn't enough to even reduce the speed of the car significantly. Correct, correct. Okay. So a, a very light braking event. And here at the same speed. Right. The the throttle is all the way down here at zero. It never uh, it never goes above zero. But the engine is maintaining speed and the vehicle is maintaining speed. And we can actually see with the yellow line that the uh, the engine throttle is staying partially open on its own. So what we're likely looking at here uh, is a cruise control event. It seems like pretty simple information. Oh yeah, it's definitely powerful information to confirm or deny what we're hearing from some of the people who've been involved in some of these sudden acceleration incidents. When you look at this, all this, this sort of car graveyard, technically these black boxes should be able to tell what happened. They paint a picture of what was going on. Sure, they, they definitely paint a picture about what's going on with the car. It's not the whole story by any means. Um, you know, you may see the data about how fast the car is going, are the brakes on, things like that. But, you know, you can't see just by looking at it, well, what does that have to do with the road? Is it an intersection? Is it a curve? What's the speed limit? That kind of thing. So it definitely helps paint a picture. You know, I can download stuff from a vehicle I've never seen before and start getting an understanding of what's going on with the car. But, you know, you have to go on and finish the complete re reconstruction to really figure out what happened in the accident.